I mean, I, I, th I think we'll have, I think we're trending toward to having something that's smarter than any human, smarter than the smartest human by maybe next year or something. I mean, a couple years. Sam Altman said that this year is, is the year AGI will come out, 2025. What is AGI and is it ex machina or not? AGI is whatever the companies need it to be. How close do you think O3 model is to AGI? It's the closest thing we have. Maybe huh? if you asked some people 10 years ago, they would definitely say O3 is AGI, huh? but OpenAI definition is a system that can do most economically viable labor. Everyone's been saying that AGI, artificial general intelligence, is around the corner. But is it really? So in this video, I'm going to break down where we are currently what we are doing with the LLMs and what people are thinking of uh, the next step for building the AI to actual AGI and the timeline for that is probably much longer than we think right now the hype around the AI and AGI now is unreal welcome back to the channel guys uh, so I got this different mic <laughs> because the last uh, video got roasted for that fucking around with that mic uh, without the stand and let's see if this works out what's actually happening in ai right now so first of all in 2025 lots of companies are mostly focused on llms so much optimization with llms at this point that each general model will have like millions of smaller models alongside it that are more specific to a particular use case second is that some people are actually moving above and beyond these llm models like this and this models that are not just an improvement over llms but something completely different so we'll talk about them later on for now the most amount of money is being put into llms and most ceos are like obsessed with automating the human tasks in their company so that they can afford their third summer home while their employees live paycheck to paycheck and have to do that upskilling in ai company mandated codes when the upper management doesn't even know how to create PPTs properly. So the difference is that earlier we had GPT-4 and then we moved to GPT-4.5 and then to GPT-5. The cost is increasing quite significantly at each step and the returns are diminishing. So there's more amount of money being put and lesser returns. You may have used GPT-5 yourself. Was it even worth it? Like there was not much difference between GPT-4 and GPT-5 just became more specific now the same thing will happen when we move from gpt5 to gpt6 the returns are quite insignificant so some people believe that we have hit the limit with the llms and we need something fundamentally different and that's where these diffusion models comes in so that's why there are some researchers that are working with these diffusion models you probably have heard about diffusion from that uh, mid-journey models right diffusion models are being used for creating images so what happened was that diffusion models were made for working with these images and pixels but now the companies like OpenAI and Gemini are using those diffusion models for actually coding purposes like LLMs are text-based uh, models and diffusions were for images now their technology is being transferred or transformed uh, to be able to be used to code again and this is being done only because the diffusion models are actually able to give more returns with lesser data so llms whereas llms are hitting their limits diffusion models may give some kind of alternative to it so llms work on text while diffusion models work on pixels however new diffusion llms are emerging that apply diffusion principles to text for potentially faster and different generation styles but the thing is that even these diffusion models can't actually solve the deeper problem that ai actually has so what's the missing piece understanding the world so there was this little experiment a toy is caused so imagine you toss a coin 10 times in a row and each time it lands on heads so when you ask llm what will be the side it will land on the 11th time it actually mostly gives answers that yeah it will give heads again but you know that's not true so 50 percent probability right so llms can't actually think for themselves and this uh, this loading screen on GPT and the Gemini, these are actually false. These are not thinking processes. These are just made to make you think that they are thinking, but this is not real. LLMs can't think, at least for now. So they are just kind of predicting what will happen based on the previous experience. They don't have the sense of time or the context, how the world works. So enter world models. Now these are the completely new models and only a few researchers are working on these 
there are some published papers but most of this is in theory rather than practical usage so if you have an idea of the state of the world and you imagine an action that you're going to take and you can predict the resulting state of the world uh, then that means you can predict what's going to happen as a consequence of a sequence of actions and that means you can plan a sequence of actions to arrive at a particular goal and that's really what a world model is so what does a world model do it actually tries to simulate or understand the context how the real world objects work and what actually what they are so imagine if your model actually understood what a coin is a coin has two sides heads and tails and the probability of landing each is 50% if the model actually understood this then we wouldn't have this problem the earlier experiment we did that after 10 times it will still land on heads so this is the fundamental difference between llm and the world models the world models tries to understand the coin rather than the previous action to the future consequence and there's even one more problem that ai can't just keep on learning so let's say you teach an ai agent to play genshin impact and gta online so next time it will forget how to interact with humans so this is a simple example that llms or these models current models are actually trained on specific and the new data is not easily integrated into the models so humans can learn new skills without forgetting the previous skills but current models have this thing called loss of plasticity which means that the new data is not as influential or maybe it may learn the new data and forget the previous one so researchers like Ian Leakan and Toyota's behavioral models are trying to solve this but there's still no working solution so what's next so going deeper there was this book that said thinking fast and slow that there are two systems system one and system two system one is more fast and intuitive response like driving you have the muscle memory and you don't have to think while driving so system two is more about logical thinking like trying to max min max your character in an rpg just to impress your non-existent friends so llms are pretty good at system one but they completely fail at system two so there are many papers that uh, just uh, with this problem of tower of hanoi if you knew that we have three uh, towers and if we increase the number of towers a human may be able to get the answer for n number of towers but the llm just can't even if we solve reasoning there's one more problem and it's these self-defined goals so humans actually evolve we want to survive and they have this motivation to keep going llms just don't have a reason to exist and humans have a moral compass let's say even though it's eh. but uh, llms don't have a moral compass they don't know what actually good means even though humans don't know what good means themselves we have conflicting ideas so one person good may not be the other person good who decides what's good for an llm how will we define good for them how will we define the moral compass so who will get to decide what good means actually sam altman elon musk and the developers who are actually doing the fine tuning with their weightage of redditors comments they will get to decide what good means because humans they themselves have philosophical problems so obviously it will translate to problems what it means in the world of AI. So coding motives in the AI is actually more difficult than coding intelligence. In next five to ten years how will we get to decide what AI will be used for? So AI governance problems so these are far future problems and we'll get there slowly but there are so many other different problems that we have before that. First is obviously the layoffs, the jobs people are actually worried that their jobs are going to get automated so let's not think so far and about the AGI AGI is not coming anytime soon but the automation is coming yes next year maybe next year next year automations in at least the junior levels are already here and you can see the graph that junior hiring has been on decline significantly and I don't know how the juniors will get to the senior positions if there are only two people in the junior level pyramid how will the company get seniors I don't understand so most of this uh, system is currently being run with replacing the employees from senior to senior level and junior to junior level they don't want the upward mobility in a company they will just replace you so I'm not saying that AI world is not improving we are just not close to AGI and there's a huge difference between our current models and what people think that AGI, general artificial intelligence will look like. 
and the next step is obviously this uh, world models that i discussed that the context of understanding the world itself but it might not be closer to agi as well we don't know so most discussions on internet and pod- podcast are around this what will agi lead to it will do good or it will end humanity let's us first reach there and see if we can even reach that kind of intelligence at all your current worry shouldn't be about the agi it should be about keeping your job and uh, not being replaced by an automation so don't fall for the hype and stay skeptical stay updated see you guys in the next video where i'll be discussing more about these world models and keep watching so like and subscribe thank you